It's just a huge family and the whole of the story revolves around the family so we have to get said family involved in said conflict. But yeah, we do have baby Louisa and baby Antonio and, the, and Isabella's coming which is good because we need a probably next episode to be honest so that's good. But yeah, we're going to be aging up for about today and Louisa and honestly Antonio too. I think he's kind of a kid age in Panto. We're going to age up all three of these guys and then we're going to do Antonio's ceremony and we're going to go to the after party and talk to Louisa a bit about her inner conflict with her carrying too much weight on her shoulders and learning about, you know, what happens to the practice of Yeah, we're going to be getting this going, so we've got uh, Mirabelle here. I'm in love with this house, guys. Still in love with it. It looks so cute. But yeah, if you kind of zoom in here, it doesn't really fill up next to a road, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, this whole area isn't that bad. I would love it if, like, you know, we could actually do it in the jungle world. But like I said, we can't actually live in that world, which is kind of sad. <laughs> I wish the jungle adventure world was, like, more of a rental world rather than, like, the only place you can stay out only. Like, if it was, like, rental and you can have homes in it, that'd be awesome, but you can only rent, which is disappointing. Anyways, it's alright, though. Look, we have plenty of trees and bushes to kind of make the area feel like it's, um, Submerged and yeah, um, as a is almost ready to have Isabella, which is fine. It's not ready quite yet, so we should find out at the end of the episode. But that's the case we need until next episode. So, anyways, we are going to see the these guys. So, they're at least teenagers, so I'm going to see if we can name a cake. And also, we have our auntie and Abuela, which is quite cool. Um, we we'll probably invite them around as well for. So many, so we'll invite her around. Let's invite her around a lot. Um, we could do ask her to actually actually wait. We could do um. Why don't we do plan to stay over? And we'll ask her to do three nights. I think for now, actually, I might do it to five just so she'll be here for Antonio's ceremony. And yeah, we'll do it now. And I think I'll also invite. Room two. We'll invite both of them for five nights. Um, yes. Do that. So then we'll get these two here. I love the new stove feature, it's really helpful for like grandparents and stuff. So I'm glad we have that. <laughs> so obviously, when I'm supposed to actually have household, to be able to invite a boy around for a few nights is quite good. So we need a full story. Yeah. Hopefully, the cake will be done in a few minutes. Oh, two seconds actually. Alright, let's put this down. Oh my god, this table has so much stuff on it. Okay, let me just go ahead and see if we can find a place for this. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Just... Yeah, let me sort of clean up around here a bit. It's a little bit messy. Okay, there we go. Okay, oops, it needs to be in the centre. Perfect. So we're going to put, um, no, we can that now. Right, let's go and add these. Right, let's go and see if we can get out candles for my gun. So just check on the weed though, which is cool. Obviously we need to age up all of them anyways. Come over here. Come over here. Okay. Let's get her into the teenager so we need to get the story started on in Okay, there we go. Okay, oh she got bonus tray as well. Teenage gym. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a do I have any tapes to have? Let's have the family orientated and creative tray. Okay, so yes, creative already. Did she get family orientated yet? She can't till she's older. I'm going to give her a different one then while she's your um, a teen. Maybe like um doors, dance machine. She's a bit of a dancer, I think that could work. Overachiever, party animal, outgoing, and she's kind of outgoing, not 
pop bro, she's kind of outgoing. And I feel like she'd definitely have a family aspiration. Large living household, I think, makes sense to me. She wants to bring her whole family together. Okay, so let's have a little look. Oh, she literally spawned outside, so there's a little space in that kitchen. Little look. Aww, she looks so cute. Yeah, we're gonna see the editing, but she looks pretty good so far, to be honest. Alright, let's go here, and we're gonna just, um, we need to do the music next. Nobody eat the cake yet. Nobody eat the cake. Okay. Next we need to do, actually, let's do if us can do this for a sec. Add birthday candles, so put the visa. Okay, there we go, and we're gonna have you blow up candles for the visa. There we go. Okay, so Louisa is going to be obviously pretty strong and she's also gonna be, what do you think? Good, probably something like active or confident. Actually probably not confident, she's secretly not confident so maybe that wouldn't work for her. It loves that doors coming in erratic, going through, self-absorbed, social awkward, romantic, hot-headed. Um, hmm, Louisa, Louisa, what are we going for for you? Um, adventurous dance machine. I think I will go for confident because even, because even though she's sweet and confident, she'll get some better tricks when she's older. Oh my gosh, she already looks so much like Louisa already. That's crazy. Yeah, she looks a lot like her. Cool. Okay, right, we're gonna just quickly put in these last candles for Antonio. Oh gosh, no, 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 Ah, too late. Too late, too late, too late. Okay. We have to make another quick one then for Antonio. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. Do you have any skills? Okay, good. Go, 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 go. And let's chuck this there. Phoebus, come on. Oh, Bruno's here. Hey, Bruno. Yeah. That's cool. Wait, do we have this? Is other suitcases in here yet? Or have we just like left in a random place? Do you usually come for like little suitcases? Oh, I can't find the suitcases. Oh, I don't know where to put them. Make on the floor above. I don't know if they were a Bella and Bruno are staying. Which beds have they chosen? I think we have like. One a bed upstairs. Perhaps that one. This one's Louisa's and Mirabelle's. Are they up here then? Um, doesn't seem to be a specific bed allocated to them. Find my bed to. All right, yeah, we can assign it to Bruno specifically. Bruno and the brother must have a specific bed each. Because I don't know where the heck else is sleeping up. Let me just see if I can focus on her. Oh wait, her brother didn't put oh, many Bruno did. How odd. Oh. oh, I don't know. Well, she's meant to be cut arriving soon anyways. Yeah, we're going to just quickly see if we can get this cake done and then we can just continue. And Taylor needs to wake up. Yay! Yay, Antonio! <laughs> Fabulous. There we go. Give it a little spin a second. There we go. Antonio's gonna be, I don't know, I mean, oh, multi skills, quite cool. Slimmer party, playtime captain, creative genius, mind and body. I mean, he's kind of social because he talks to the animals, right? So that kind of works. And then. Do you have any animal traits? We have dog lover. That can kind of work. Dog lover. Um, I think it's the best one we've got at the moment. That's similar to him, so I think that'll work. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm telling you, that's cool. Right, go get yourself some food. I'm going to get a bit worried about this. Oh, okay, he's getting himself food. That's good. You've already got food, you're just tired. Okay. Oh, why are you enraged? Oh, she's got mood swing already. Already, man? Okay, it has 
all of the brothers and sisters edited now. So we have Mirabelle here first. I think she looks so cute, guys. Lots of other beautiful black hair and beautiful skin. And I just think she looks so cute. I have to give her yellow glasses because I don't have green just don't have green glasses for some reason. <laughs> and then her outfit, if you guys are wondering, is the one that I really want to see this anyway. You guys can download it from my website. Everywhere, so yep, <laughs> go to my channel, find out what you want to find there. Yeah, I think this is quite cute. <laughs> Definitely on the messy side, my heart was drawn to this Adorable, so she's wearing what I made her. She's kind of adorable. It has this little top, which is quite nice as well. Yeah, I think it's really cool. And then we have Louisa, who is here. She looks so cool. Is, Louisa, and then finally we have Antonio, it's adorable, there's an orange get up going on here, and yeah, it's adorable. And yeah, we'll still be getting um, Isabella later today on the next episode as well, so that'll be perfect. Right, so we're going to help Antonio with the ceremony, so let's kind of get on with that. We have Bruno here, because obviously him and Abuela are staying over, which is quite nice. It's a little but little big house. <laughs> it's kind of little big at the same time at the moment. I look at Louise on her bed. Obviously, Antonio has been adorable down here as well. So yeah. Well, I'm Antonio the ceremony. So obviously this house is a little, little compact. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to do this. Let's also see if we can. Which one can represent his room? I think this one is kind of meant to be his room. So we can just have him sort of open this door, I guess. So let's go and bring Antonio to this little, this little corridor. This area is a bit bigger than these other thin corridors, so it's probably the best place to do it. Oh, and he's already here anyways, so that's good. Okay, so actually we should probably um, try and cheer him up. And we're going to walk down actually from here. So we need to go up the stairs, don't we? Okay, so where are the stairs? Okay, the stairs are there. So we're going to... Start walking from here, I think, yes, so we're gonna start from like here and we're gonna kind of walk up the stairs to that little area. Here we go, first of all let's like come for Antonio because he's a bit scared about his ceremony and yes, we're gonna share a secret, so we're gonna try and cheer him up and yeah, so my mum's a really good big sister, she's really supportive. It's not even sister, cousin. She's a really great cousin. I mean, technically in the series she's a sister, but anyway, she's been really supportive. She's like, look, I know my dick goes to I know yours, but I guarantee it that you're going to be fine, Antonio. And he's like, okay, and if worse comes to worse, you can just share a with me. So, no, no loss. That's true, that's true. Okay, so anyways. I have a couple of things, but still a bit Maybe we can give him a You're my favourite, oh my gosh yes, why not? Did that make him happy? I think it did. Anyways, we're going to kind of come together up the stairs, we the whole dramatic effects thing. And we're going to walk to this... Um, do we need to go upstairs more? I was going to go to that bit. Gonna check this bit as well. Yeah, no, the, the biggest space we have to do this, and there's a little gap here, so we're gonna bring them here to check it. There we go. Right, so here we go. We're kind of walking through. It, it, this house is more compact than the one in the film, so it's a little bit different, but it's just good. Oh my gosh, where's Antonio? Okay, it's literally here. Good. Come to Mirabelle, come and not annoying no. Come and um come and talk about warm temperature. Oh he's happy now, that's good. So here we go. We're both together because he's asked Mirabelle to help him with his ceremony because he's a little bit scared. So yeah, we're gonna just bring them here and then we've got the scene got the old camera zooming in. So here they are. So we're gonna be walking up to the door and if I can I'm not a tiny crack of a doorway. And yes, so 
the ability to support animals when you can the room here there is animals everywhere and it's just a really cool thing i love it it's such like an emotional moment because he was really scared at the beginning then he comes in here and it's just it's great so yeah that's kind of how his entrance sort of works i think this is actually more than a screen that's more of his room but honestly the rooms are kind of confusing in this house <laughs> they're not uh, they're not super obvious of who's the room but Anyway, he's basically in his room and he, he has like a little flush of a tiger. We don't have a tiger. We have bunnies, but we don't have tigers. I think we're going to have to use the wolfie, I think. We've always got a little, little um, guy in here. Obviously, this is like normally the toddler room. So there's a better way to use this while he's in the toddler for a sec. But this room will permanently be on Terry so he's born, so we're going to get a move out pretty quickly into her own space but for now it's kind of still the toddler room for now anyway so basically he's opened his room and it's, 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 it's this beautiful moment everyone's celebrating and then you know Mirabelle you know she kind of feels left out because she didn't get her gift and it all works fine for Antonio she's so happy for him so she's kind of in a bit of a conflict right now and um basically everyone's partying she kind of she notices she comes outside and she notices cracks all across the, the house, like it cracks across the walls and the ceiling, and you know, it, it, it panics her. She's like, "Oh my god, the, 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 the house is about to crack!" And she goes and talks to her brother about this. So what is about a brother? We have Bruno here. He's about to talk to me. Robot, actually, Bruno, how you doing? Um, but obviously we need to find where the toilet is. Where is she even sleeping? Like, where is the girl? I'm gonna have to track her down because this house is a little bit too tight. Um, oh, I can't open her profile. Um, I don't know where the heck a boiler is actually. <laughs> she has disappeared. Okay, so I'm going to go in there. Okay, her boiler is asleep somewhere. Oh, she's there, she's there, she's there. Okay, let me just change her outfit. Yeah, we're gonna just go and talk to her. We're gonna discuss the interests. We're going to play about rain, and we're gonna see. Let's go and just say hello, and you know, be like, umbrella. I see cracks in the walls. There's something wrong. She's like, Mirabel, are you okay? There is nothing wrong here. The house is completely fine. No, yeah, but it's true. Is it was everywhere. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, Mirabelle. Yes, I'm fine. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Everyone, go back to the party. Chop chop. Nothing's going wrong here. So yeah, basically, you know, she saw the cracks in the wall and then she asked her brother and then she's like, yeah, nothing's here. She kind of, I mean, I think the brother secretly knows that there's something wrong with the magic, but Mira, she kind of puts Mirabelle down because she's kind of in the mood. So, you know, she doesn't believe though, I think. She just doesn't have that to the face. <laughs> and then basically the next day she goes and asks Dolores if she's heard anything. We don't have Dolores in, in the game right now because this house was already quite full as it is. And we're kind of going to concentrate mostly on the main three members of Mirabelle's family. We can tell Louisa and Isabella. And Tenya is only member of her family. <laughs> She's technically a cousin, but he has to be part of the family um, for the next series. Anyway, so, um, uh, we never have Dolores, so we can't do that, but we can do the next bit, where basically she tells her to go and talk to Louisa at breakfast time. So we're going to go to bed, and then we're going to go and talk to Louisa in the morning. Wait, are all the beds taken? Are we going to have to invest in more beds? Oh no, there's actually one here. Do you want actual bed that you own? Go, 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 go. Here we go. So we're going to go to the next day, and at breakfast we're going to ask Louisa about the magic, that's where Dolores told us to go. Dolores in quotation marks, and we're gonna ask her if she knows anything because, you know, 
Mirabelle's convinced it wasn't just her that saw something. Okay, she's going to leave, but literally right now. So we're going to sort her out. First of all, we're going to pay the bills. Let's go and pay these. Here we go. Bills paid, and then we're going to have baby. So this is going to be Isabella. Here we go. Okay, oh yeah, mine's returned. Yay! Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a boy. But honestly, I am probably going to change. Um, their gender to a girl, so we can have Isabella, but yeah, for now we're going to just call them um, Isabella. Because <laughs> they are going to probably have to change the gender, <laughs> so we can actually have Isabella in the house, but yeah, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, she has a mouse down Hello. Right, we're gonna just age them up straight away because we don't really have time to look after a baby right now. So we're gonna just see if we can. Oh wait, we can't age up yet. Really? Why not? Usually you can like do it straight away. Hmm, that's odd. So let's just speed up here. Um, let's um, clean her, I guess. Oh, let's go welcome back Maya. Let's go and welcome her back. Hello. Hello Maya. There we go. And I'm going to give you a bath, I think. Let's give a bath. And you're going to Let's go and do baby care. Oh wait, you can age her up now. Okay. Or age her up then. You don't really want to have a baby for too long. There we go. There we go. So we're here to infant stage. She's gonna be calm. Oh, she's floating. She's a floating baby. Oh, smile. Awesome. Now, how far are we gonna have to speed age her? Don't need until next episode. But she should at least be a child, at least. We're gonna talk to Louisa outside. This is where she. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. You're both in now. Let's go and talk out here. Okay, we're just gonna um, change outfit here. Not tired enough to pass out, so I think we're okay. We're gonna wait for the weasel. Okay, let's go and gossip. Her ideas. I actually had an outfit on his and Louise are actually so I'm going to give her her main one. Yeah, let's go and just talk here. And we're just gonna see what she says. It's like, hey Louisa, Laura's told me to come to you to ask you about the magic. You know something's wrong about it. Um no, <laughs> nothing's wrong. Are you sure? Okay, okay, something is wrong. I'm under too much stress and pressure. Yeah, I have to keep hugging up the family. Yeah. I think I can do this more. Sometimes you just need a hug. And uh, you're doing a fine, Louisa. Yeah, we're going to give her a hug. We're going to go and see if we can hug lovingly as a sister. And then we're going to see if we can get any information about her. Oh, she, oh she's arranged to do that. That's um, Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to just... Oh my gosh. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Try to calm down, try to calm down. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, guys, apologize. I don't know what you guys are doing. Stop having offensive conversations. Um, okay. Whatever. Um, these guys, um, what's going on? Her ideas, her ideas, her ideas. Please, please calm down. Okay, okay. Um, 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 shower deers. And we're going to try and um, do family kiss and then hug. try again. We're just give her, a, give her a hug, you know? There we go. There we go. It's close enough. Oh, she doesn't like the That is weird. 
Anyway, so basically, Ripple makes her feel better. You know, this is Oh, and Louisa tells um, Mirabelle to go and check in Bruno's tower for the vision. And yeah, that's where I'm going to end it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks, you'll get to go to Bruno's tower. So we'll see what happens there. Bye!